Oh hello everyone. Going alone on a motorbike trip and trying to make a video can be a bit of a challenge. In this video I show you what gear I use and how I make it happen. Welcome back. In this video I talk about all the gear I'm using and how I make it happen. Sometimes I ask myself why I'm actually bother recording my trip. The answer is pretty simple. You can't remember all this stuff when you come back. So having a video is just a nice way to remember a beautiful trip. You know the saying, all the gear, no idea. You really learn on the job because everything you tried in your living room will definitely not work on the trip. Also, not everyone is a natural in front of the camera, as you can tell. Let's talk about the gear I'm using on my trips. The first thing I like to talk about is my motorbike helmet. This one has already the fixture on it to mount my camera. I prefer my camera to be mounted on the side and I do that with a bit of Velcro and I have to say, so far, I never had a problem with it. You can see here I have a few cable attached to my helmet. One is for the microphone what I have on the inside and the other one is for a USB power supply I have mounted on the other side what allows me to use the camera for hours without having any problem or any worry I'm running out of juice. Let's talk about quick about the lavalier microphone I'm using. This particular model is from Rode. It's about £50 online and uh, I have good experience with road microphones I use it for my filming jobs and you know I'm I really always try to invest a little bit in quality uh, the sound is very nice the noise reduction is excellent uh, it doesn't clip the inputs on my camera so that's all perfect and it's important things for me let's talk about cameras my favorite camera is the FDR X3000 from Sony these cameras well I have two are absolutely amazing. They shoot 1080p and 4K video. I normally only use 1080p. These cameras are absolutely fantastic because they have a really good stabilization system in there. I think so far on the market for action camera, they are really leading the way. The GoPro camera is really great if I mount it, for example, pretty low on the bike or on the back of the motorbike so sometimes you quite enjoy when you have a bit of a shaky footage it's more real than having a an absolutely steady shot it just takes a little bit the the excitement away to protect the camera i modified the waterproof housing what i got uh, included in the pack with the camera and as you can see the camera fits really snug inside but on the back I cut out the holes for the connectors so I can mount this slightly protected on my motorbike helmet. In order to see if the camera is recording or not I also modified the casing and drilled a hole in the front and covered it with perspex so when the camera is on I can see this LED in my side mirror and that's all I need, so I'm always informed if the camera is recording or not. A really good accessory I found online is that really cheap handle. I bought it on Amazon for about three quid, and I can mount it directly to my little camera, and I can use it as a B-roll camera, handheld, wherever I'm going, and due to the wide angle of the lens, you don't really have to look through any viewfinder because you know exactly what you're filming. The nice thing is, I, I use that line in my uh, tank bag, and if I see something interesting with one hand, I can take it out, hit the button, and just hold the camera to the left or the right and, and record for a few seconds and put it away. It's a fantastic way of utilizing this camera as a B-roll. The camera is really practical also if you do a little interview or anything because you just attach your lavalier microphone to the back and you get exquisite sound. If you want to be a bit more precise what you're recording with that camera, you can always use your mobile phone so you know exactly what you're filming. The third camera I'm using for filming and for photography is my point and shoot camera. It's a Canon 
GX7. The video quality is really, really good. And since the camera shoots in RAW files, I get exceptional photos out of it. One thing I have to say is I always use my phone on every location to make some shots so I can match up the GPS data so I always know where it was where I took the photos. Mounting your cameras to the motorbike, some people use the GoPro native setup. I use RAM mounts. RAM mounts are very sturdy and the benefit is of course you have the ball joint what makes it easier to level out the cameras. A few other things I use all the time is one, a mini tripod. I prefer the Manfrotto one because it has this adjustable ball joint on the top what allows me to point the camera and set it out properly. There's also a little bit weight behind it so you have really the opportunity to put it on any place you wish and you always have a very level camera. Another solution is if you're in need of a longer tripod, you use your selfie stick, the mini tripod, attach the selfie stick to the mini tripod and there you have it. You pull that apart and you have a really long tripod. In order to charge all my equipment, I use one of these battery packs. I invested in this one many years ago. I have it uh, with me on every single trip. This particular model is from Anti-Gravity Batteries XP1. It's extremely powerful. It holds the charge for a very, very long time. Here I have an output for a jump start lead. I jump started my motorbike on several occasions, but the main attraction to that device was for me is it has a 12 volt 10 amp output for my laptop and two very strong outputs via USB for all my devices. So this will charge absolutely everything I carry with me. Charging my equipment during riding is that easy. I have one of these Chivi devices uh, what you basically connect to your motorbike and there's a, a connector inside my tank bag so it's all waterproof. What I can do with this is I modified uh, the charging cable for that so all I have to do is plug that into the battery and here I have a full 12 volt outlet on it what charges my battery pack and here I have three USB ports where I can charge any other devices if I like to do so. All I carry is a charger for my GoPro and a charger for my camera battery. That's all I need. My laptop and everything else gets connected directly to this battery and I never had any problems. As you can see, I really don't take much stuff on a long trip with me because I don't need it. I have four cameras, two are spares. I have one camera I take my photo with. I do video with my phone and photos. I have a small tripod system I can use and I have spare batteries and charging points everywhere. I think this is, personally for me, the perfect setup. I hope you found something useful within that video. If you have any questions about the gear I'm using or the methods, just leave a comment below in the comment section and I will come back to you as quick as I can. In the meantime, ride safe and I see you next time.